There's a lot going on. It could be a Monday, Wednesday, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, a day a week. There's always one thing happening, but United States Live of breaking news. Come on. All right, the very first thing I want to talk about everybody is the CW. The C what? Yeah, it still exists. The CW is still out there, but not for much longer, I don't think, because they keep laying people off now. They laid off 35 more people, and they're going to lay off probably more. Again, this is whole this transition that went down where they were bought up, bought up, bought up, and now the head Brad Schwartz is talking about how they're changing over to, again, more of a live stream um, or more of a um, like reality series based stuff. So all the big stuff's going with the DC projects are gone. You see more of these layoffs happening. It will end up turning into just pretty much a normal uh, talk show type network and less scripted television, which really sucks. A lot of good shows came out of there. It's very unfortunate. It's also unfortunate iHeartRadio is laying people off too, everybody. But iHeartRadio laid off 500 people out of their 10,000 employees and more will probably be coming too. They're saying it's an eliminate redundancies and streamline the business. I always hate to say this because they also said the same uh, the same beat that, oh yeah, but we're the best we've ever been. We're making more money than ever. We're watched by and listened, listened by more people. We're in layout. have people, to say so. that. Yeah, they have to say that. You're right, Mike. But it sucks to see people get laid off, and it sucks also that the Star Wars has been pushed again or taken off this calendar for their next movie. And this is one thing that's been this calendar for a long time. December 18th, 2026 was supposed to be our next big Star Wars movie, uh, but now it is gone. So if you're excited about this... And they still didn't clarify what it was going to be, if it would be the Ray movie or if it was going to be a different like spinoff, but it is off the calendar now. Of course, they are redoing that. They're going to do three new episodes, 10, 11, 12, I think that's what it is. I only know any more of these, but they're doing the next three. And so uh, it's off the calendar for now. They got to figure things out, do some rewrites, redos, and finally get there. But at least Harry Potter's doing well, right? Oh, God. Harry Potter by the cooking show is out. It's dropped November 14th <laughs> on the Food right. Network and on Max. Uh, it did really well. Five million people watched it on Max, and it's actually could be one of the highest grossing freshman series to launch on the Food Network. So get your Slytherin in, your Hufflepuffs, and uh, check it out on Max Rux. It's doing really, really, really well. Uh, but it's very unfortunate because like Maggie Smith was a big part of this, and Maggie Smith, of course, passed away, but she was also part of Sister Act, and Sister Act 3 is on hold right now. They're doing rewrites, redos, but this was a project moving forward, and it's still going to happen, Whoopi Goldberg says, but they have to kind of adapt the script now because Maggie Smith was going to be a big part of this. Of course, she was the original too. So why would she not be now? So it's it's sad we lost the legend, and we'll see what happens with Sister Act three as it adapts. But we know this happens all the time. Adaptions happen. You have to cut things, change things. The scripts brand knows all about that. Uh, look at what happened with Denzel Washington over in uh, over on uh, Gladiator two. Apparently, he had the first in his whole career, his first same sex kiss, first same sex kiss, and uh, they cut it. So. He said the world wasn't ready for it. They weren't ready for Denzel kissing a guy. <laughs> so uh, they cut it out. Apparently he kissed a guy and then it five minutes later murdered him. It was too hot, hot, guys. We weren't ready. We couldn't handle it. Too hot for this wicked gladiator weekend that's coming up. Too hot. Too hot. And uh, <laughs> Pedro Pascal and, and <laughs> you see GR's doing this right now. Pedro Pascal and uh, and, and uh, other guy. There's, there's so many Pascals and uh, uh, I'm going blame on the other guys. But they, they were supposed to kiss in the movie too. They cut that to, uh, what's his name? Mascal? Pascal and Mascal. Mascal Paul and him Mascal. had a kiss too. Yeah, they had a kiss too and they cut as well. So they cut out the guy kisses in this guy. So if you were excited about that, they were trying to do old Rome stuff they said and they cut it all out. But Denzel was bummed about it. He said he doesn't have many movies left in him. He's going like, I got like four movies, list some movies and then uh, the next day they'd say we're doing uh two more equalizers movies which are not on the list so he's lying about that guys like a little bit but he's doing equalizer four and five because people are wanting these so bad he said they're doing so great of course they have that spinoff i think it's over on cbs with queen latifah that's doing great they're doing another two spinoffs off of that so this equalizer franchise is not going anywhere anytime soon and good for denzel kicking some ass uh you know being this like retired kind of agent out there to feel like a secret agent so i i haven't watched these tell me out there if i should watch these it's the four and five are coming maybe i should just check them out um i will see but somebody else that's doing some law-abiding uh television or say movies is Zack Snyder, everybody. He's doing an LAPD movie. This is his very first action movie that is going to be based around a grounded feature film. That's right. Grounded in reality for the very first time. And he's trying to do something totally different, of course. He's been trying to make more of those Justice League movies. That hasn't worked out. Rogue, that Rogue movie came out. Rebel, Rebel One came out. That didn't do that great for him. But this one's set in the high-stakes world of life and death and is centered around an elite LAPD force unit uh, that is out in the world 
uh, trying to relentlessly confront an uh, uh, unforgiving collision of law and morality. That's what they say. So that means that makes no sense. He's doing a cop show, guys. Cop movie. Will it be great? I don't know. I, I really don't trust in him. But I know he is trying to get back in you know, the Justice League stuff constantly. Just like T.J. Miller is trying to get back in the MCU to be a part of Deadpool because that did so great. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, again, he said that him and Ryan Reynolds spoke and they had a great conversation. It would be awesome to come back and play his character of Weasel again. But I heard this about this. I didn't know about this. Uh, he actually had a bunch of sexual assault allegations that came against him recently. And he made a bomb threat. And he's arrested for a bomb threat. So I don't think the mouse... <laughs> want him back in these movies a bomb threat right like what the fuck man like what's he thinking and you think you think that disney's gonna take your ass back probably not gonna happen that's the x that will not give you a chance again that's all i'm saying that the mouse, the mouse is very particular about your uh your crime that's all i'm saying get in there right oh. and find this stuff up. oh i don't i don't want your bombs um but you know nobody wants that shit <laughs> nobody wants that shit that's all i'm saying uh tj miller good luck to you i'm more happy to see alan tudyk coming in to be clayface because that's awesome because he's already playing clayface if you've been watching Mac show uh with uh with harley quinn if you're watching that he's like he's a shakespearean actor type character fantastic it's funny it's great but clayface will be in, in uh creature commandos the new uh new uh, cartoon animated uh movie or series coming forward on max and now he already plays dr phosphorus in this but james gunn came to him and said hey will you also play clayface again now clayface would be a psychopathic maniac in this murdering people so very different from the one he plays over in harley quinn but he's excited to play both parts and alan tudyk is awesome give him all the roles fucking give him all the roles he can do no wrong but i feel like jack black has been doing a lot wrong recently even though i love jack black <laughs> I love him. I love him. But you know, when he's on, when he was in Mario, I was excited. Like, peaches, 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 peaches Great peaches, stuff. Peaches, Let's peaches, do more peaches. peaches. I love you, Jack Black. I love you. But if you've seen Minecraft, if you've seen Minecraft for the new trailer drop, if you saw it yet, it's out there. I'm still not sold in this movie. He's also playing Satan. That's like a kid writes to Santa Claus, a different movie, and then he apparently writes to Satan instead. <laughs> the, trailer, and, the trailer for that one is funny. I like that. It could, that could be better, but Minecraft, though, Oh, guys, I don't know. It's it, it's a kid's movie. Let's just say it's a kid's movie. So will it be great? It's not going to be Mario. I love Jack Black. He's Steve. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it, Steve. But I'd rather watch that than watch the Popeye horror movie that's coming out, everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> Shipping Me Timbers is coming. And uh, and this plot. this If you haven't seen the, the teaser drop for this. Now, it's only an hour long. We have this Puniverse thing we're talking about multiple times. All these fairy tale creatures coming and murdering people. It's kind of the same is, thing. What is he smoking, Brian? What is He's that? smoking the biggest <laughs> hump day extravaganza of his life. Um, but I don't know what's happening there, but I do know the plot is ridiculous. Apparently a meteorite crashes on earth and turns Popeye into a radioactive super being that starts murdering everybody that are camping. There you go. Uh, shiver me timbers. Loving. <laughs> you're you're the writer, Brandon, you. you would know. This is, yeah, the, this is news. the latest, this is the latest thing in is you take a property that is in the public domain and then you make a horror movie about it. That's the mm -hmm. way the Pooh guys did it. <laughs> Popeye is now in public domain. I know uh, Tarzan is now in the public domain and I think that's going to be a horror. Like, this is the new thing that I, I was I was just at AFM and that's like all, all that's selling right now are these like rehashed now in the public domain properties, but you know, as horror movies. So, hey, yeah. who am I to judge? I would write one. <laughs> yeah, do you have a concept for one? Do you have a concept? I mean, the Tarzan one I haven't heard of yet. Tarzan could be pretty cool. I, I think there's one in development already, but yeah, I mean, you literally just throw a dart. He, he, oh, he maybe swings, in, oh, swings in, murders your, your campsite, and then swings back out yeah. of mine. Yeah, I mean, yep, he's already right. kind of a, a kind of a, a murderer. <laughs> there's the uh the one that fascinates me the most i think is the peter pan one where uh peter pan is like on a lot of meth and tinkerbell's sprinkling meth on people and then <laughs> and then he's murdering people because of tinkerbell's meth that one alone is like i kind of have to watch that one i'm just saying I have to... we're getting to this point where like all these like things are getting into the public domain so it's, they're just get, expect more from this type of in it's this gonna get worse thing. exactly yeah yeah steamboat willie the murderer popeye Popeye yeah. is here, guys, in the chat. Popeye is here in the chat. So, Popeye, why are you murdering bitches? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what <laughs> what happened to you, man? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, he says it's not him. It's it's false. Uh, it's AI. AI. It's AI. Mm. It's AI, it's Popeye. Probably it's, AI. it's probably Bluto in a mask with a can of spinach. Like, <laughs> thinks he's fooling everybody. Probably. Yeah. probably. 
so much but, alike, you know? Oh, that's mm-hmm. what he's smoking. That's what he's smoking in that pipe. <laughs> yeah, some green stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, it's, maybe, maybe he got some meth from freaking Tinkerbell. Who knows? But a lot of breaking news, everybody. A lot of breaking news. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.